And like, let's just say we could sustain torturing and killing animals en masse. Would that make it morally justifiable? Massive amounts. And they leave all of the stuff in the ocean as and well. They dump them. They dump them back. What's this, mate? Come and face me, fish boy. Yeah. Come over here. Sit down and have a chat, mate. Not really. No. Yeah, I've got an opinion, but I, uh, I don't understand it as well as probably. Do you want to talk? Do you want enough that I would want to? Uh, do you want me to help you talk about it instead of debating with you about it? I'd like to understand why you feel that way, but that's more education. I don't want to. Okay, well, you don't have to have a debate. I can explain to you my yeah, position. Yeah, sure. You can stand there if you want. Oh, I don't yeah. Mind. I'm not yeah, yeah. Sit down yeah, come and sit down, man. Come and sit down. I'll just explain to you what I mean by this. Because you might be thinking, well, just eating fish is just eating fish. It's not, I'm not being cruel to the animal. That's probably what you're thinking, eh? Oh, it, there's obviously a factor of cruelty because you've killed an animal. Yeah. So, uh, I, I just see it more as, it's, it's a cycle of life. Not the circle of life or it's a cycle? Circle, it's just, it's life. And it's life? We need sustenance yeah. and there's alternatives. Yeah vegan food, vegan options. That's right. We don't need to choose a path. Yeah. Right, there's, there's other alternatives. Of course. I don't know if it's sustainable at this stage for everyone to turn vegan overnight. Oh really? Do you think killing animals is sustainable? Well, it's sustaining at the moment, isn't it? Or is it not? I don't know, I don't okay, know. Okay, well let's talk about, we can talk about sustainability, but it's a bit di different topic to what I'm talking about, which is like the animal's rights, yep. you know what I mean? But like, let's just say we're breeding, we're killing actually 74 billion land animals and 2.7 trillion marine animals, okay? They're dragging them out of the ocean, 2.7 trillion the, every year. The documentary the other week. Um, Seaspiracy? Seaspiracy, yeah. yeah. What did you think of that? Yeah, it's obviously horrific. Did that look sustainable? Uh, based on what they said, no, it doesn't seem sustainable. And like, let's just say we could sustain torturing and killing animals en masse and it was sustainable. Would that make it morally justifiable? It depends what your your moral compass is, you know? Yeah, I mean, an eternal holocaust of torturing animals so I we like can have a burger. Descriptive, I like the descriptive yeah. words. Um, I don't see it as, as that personally. End of the day, you're taking a life, but I think how have we gotten to where we are? You know, how, how have we become what we are today from, you know, whatever the evolution was? Yeah. Well, we used to, you know, like civilizations uh, invaded other civilizations and murdered and so raped just, and pillaged. That's just our, and, and that, and that's, that's how we got our, here, yeah. That's our DNA. That's how we got here, though, yeah. But, yeah, that's the yeah. that's the time. And we've also right. killed animals and to get here, yeah. Yeah. But like now we have technology, yeah. we have alternatives. Okay, we don't need to kill each other or kill animals. I mean, self-defense situation different. I get it. But animals innocent. Yeah. We don't need to eat them to survive but we are torturing and murdering them en masse for a trivial, you know, five minute, 10 minute meal, you know, when we can obviously eat plants and be healthy. I think one of the big holdbacks from people is that it's, it's actually probably not that easy to live a vegan lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Like a practical issue, you mean? It's a, it, there's practical issues involved. It's getting more simple, but I think it's still very impractical. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've heard things about the vitamin uh, B12 deficiencies. Okay. I don't know that, like, it's not in the vegan diet or you have to supplement it. Okay, yeah, B12. Is that true? Or, yeah, well, I, I, I would recommend everyone sup I would recommend everyone supplement vitamin B12. It's, uh, it's water-soluble, so you can just... They, they actually add it to the, the food. Is it not more necessary for people on a vegan or a plant-based diet to supplement B12 into their diet? Well... It so isn't, it do, isn't, do, well... Do the people who consume meat products get a, well, a level of B12 yeah. through... Well, through they it. give the animals that people eat B12 supplements. So the chickens in... Would the animal not get that through their not, natural... No, no, no. Well, what do you mean? Where are you eating the animals from? The wild? Well, that's ideally if you, they, if you can... Do you, what, do you eat chickens? 
I eat chickens. I eat, I eat all meat, yeah. All okay, meat. so you eat pigs and chickens. They're, they're factory farms, predominantly. Predominantly, yes, yeah. yeah like the large, vast majority are farmed in, indoors. But like steak and stuff. So where would the pig get B12 indoors? Fish. I don't know if fish has B12 in it or not. Uh, yeah, certain fishes do have a B12, but yeah. like uh, a pig and a so chicken, they'll, they'll add it to their feed, but basically. Pig, a supplement. Pig and chicken is like two yeah. meat animals. Yeah. Obviously, chickens, probably, they're probably highly consumed, but you've got all of the other yeah. animals out there from fish, you know, you could eat kangaroo, you could eat yeah, yeah. cows. You but could you eat... could also have a supplement. But, but what I'm getting at is we're, we've, we've gotten here thousands or yeah. tens of thousands of years by murdering animals, without yeah. Without needing to consume supplements. It so, doesn't matter. Like you've also no, got, no. we've also gotten thousands of years without having hospitals and dentists, but you still use them because they're good for society. Yeah, I believe. Technology if and. If you look at how long we would live, 200 years ago, maybe the average male, lived, I don't know the numbers, maybe it was like 60 years old or no, 50 no, no. years. Less, like 40. 40. Yeah, and yeah. then now we're living yeah, substantially yeah. So, so longer. Just because it's a supplement, it doesn't mean that it's bad. <laughs> I, I personally take B12. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And I eat meat, but... You don't have to just eat meat to get I, the B12. I, I, no, my whole thing is if it's not... If it's, if it's a vitamin that we, we ideally need for good health and sustenance and a plant-based diet cannot offer it... Well, a meat-based the... meat diet can't either. They, I just told you they... You told the, 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 have it in their... Yeah, but... but... Like not all fish have enough B12 for you to, to really track, but and what about, the like, cows. A cow steak. Well, they they add B12 or inject cows with with the if, same supplement let's that you can. Assume that we were eating plant, like as in cows that that live off of grass fed, well, live yeah. off of the land. Well, okay, we can talk about that. I just want to make it clear that you yeah. know that animals in animal agriculture are supplemented yep. with B12 in their feed okay. or yeah. they're injected with it, yeah? I didn't know that, but okay. it makes sense because so they actually need the vitamins because in the, they're getting given rubbish food. There's a culvert deficiency in the soil, so the cows can't always get it from the soil either. Yep. Okay, so the soil can become B12 deficient. Yep. So the cows don't even get enough B12, so the farmers, even if they're grass feeding these cows, yep. they have to add it to their diets. Yeah? Yep. And chickens as well, they don't get to see outdoors most chickens yep. until they get slaughtered. Yep. And uh, so they're supplements. So why not just take the supplement instead of causing this massive, you know, eternal, like I said, mass murder yep. of innocent beings just for a, a vitamin we can go, go to the store and get easily? Yeah, I mean, what you're saying has sense, but where I'm coming from is just from our raw, not from an ethical perspective, more or a moral perspective more from a, a natural perspective more, yeah a natural perspective yeah. what got us to where we are today and why is this diet lacking and this other one although now because of the ones where when i refer to what's good meat eating yeah. i refer to the natural meat eating right well, you mean like a something like a primal catching a fish from uh, the, ocean the ocean with your rod and eating that fish you know going out and hunting your own Cow or not the hunting cows. a cow? No, not your cow. Like, like a wild animal, a like wild a deer. Animal, deer, yeah, deer, yeah, okay, elk, yeah. kangaroo. Yeah, you're talking about. Like, I don't do that personally, right? However, I feel. If, You'd rather do that than be vegan? No, I feel that that's the right way to go because why is that got? What do you mean by up? right? You mean because you're got trying to go back in history to what they used to do, have to do to survive? No, because like you said that has oh, B12 fish, mate, in the diet. Really love it. So it's all good stuff. You, you, yeah. I, wait, didn't I meet you before, mate? No, not me. No, no, no. No, we're trying to teach people that eating fish is cruel and unnecessary. Yeah, say that. Nah, it's all good, mate. They feel pain, yeah, though. Put them on YouTube. Do you want to be on YouTube, mate? Not really. Nah, well, you're, you're the star of the show now, mate. I know, mate. Yeah. So, you don't care, sorry, you care more about what's you, natural. You were, you were informing me that the livestock that we grow in farms and all yeah. of that, yeah. have to be supplemented because the feed that they're giving them doesn't have the right nutrients, right? Well, they just, they do supplement all, almost all yeah, animals yeah. in animal and agriculture. So yeah. I'm asking the question, does the animals that just live wild, living off the land and whatever their, you know, natural food is, yeah. do they have then the B12 and the essential They probably do. Let's just say they do. Let's just say they did. Yeah. And let's just say that eating the wild animals so was healthier. What I'm saying is if we're yeah. eating a vegan diet and we're yeah. lacking or void of B12, 
Well, you're, we're not because I, I am eating vegan. You're basically, what no, you're doing I, is you're designing a vegan diet that's deficient. You know? So, without, but I'm saying without the supplement. But why would I do that? Because we didn't have the supplement. I don't care. In our, in our Okay, we didn't have condoms back then either. I wouldn't sleep with a girl I didn't know without a condom. I mean. Well, it, it depends on your views and your no, values. Well, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I'm saying I'd use medicine and technology now. So why would why would we why would you create a vegan lifestyle that doesn't have a supplement in it when it's just it's silly, you know what I mean? Like we're not living in the, in the bush with a spear, and uh, we're actually living in civilization right now. You have a phone, clothes. I do. I have shelter. I use technology. Okay, you can live a vegan lifestyle with a B12 supplement, perfectly healthy, without stabbing an like animal. I, I have a B12. I eat the B12. I had one yeah. today. So. Yeah. So what you're suggesting something that is uh, unbalanced. You're saying you should do your vegan diet without a B12 supplement, see how long you'll live for. But no, like, I'm not saying that. see how long you'll live for. I'm just going, let's see if you would, you know, have deficiencies down the line. Because well, if, if you didn't supplement it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the way I you could it, as well. Most B12 uh, deficiencies come from non-vegans. They don't have absorption issues. You know, like everyone should be supplementing with B12 because you don't really know how much you're getting from your food. Yeah. When you supplement, you definitely know. And then, but when it comes to meat eating as well, I think there's also like a level of meat eating that's, you know, if you're eating processed, packaged, unhealthy meats, I don't see that as a good thing either. You know how before you're like bacon and things like that, I don't see that as a good form of meat eating because it's so fatty. Yeah, yeah you're talking about health, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about ethics, right? Yeah. So there's B12, where, you know, there's B12 in, we're, in we're yeah, we're, we're yeah, sort of, yeah, because when you say it's not healthy, I don't care if it's healthy or not. I care more about is it ethical to do. Well, that's where our, yeah. that's where we're different because for me, like, if, if, if you're going to tell a, a lion or any animal to not eat its, its food, right? Well, here, start eating vegetables. A lion's in a survival situation. You're in the surface paradise. Are, yeah, but I, I You're think, not in a, I think Are you in a survival situation at all? At any time in your life have you been in a survival situation? In in the sense that you're discussing, no. Have you ever star been starving? No, never. Okay. So you've never needed to eat an animal? Um, like necessity. Camping, I didn't take things with me, but if I, I had the option to take things with me. You could go so. get to the store yeah, and I went get fishing potatoes. instead. Yeah, yeah, but but I, I, it was by choice, not by yeah, necessity. Not by necessity. No. Okay, so at least you're you're intellectually honest with me. Yeah. Um, so basically, you're doing it for like a needless reason, causing this cruelty and violence to the animals. That's what I'm trying to get to. It's not like you're in a tribe and you're trying to spear fish to feed your family, or you'll probably become no, deficient and die. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So, to summarise our discussion, I guess I see if sustainable meat eating or fish eating or whatnot done in the right ways with the right you know practices, I don't see a problem with that. What do you mean the right practices? Just, just trying to clarify what you mean by right. I guess um, identifying what makes the ecosystem still you know grow and flourish without you know we're going to have extinction of this breed of fish and this you know octopus will die next year and you know what oh, i mean, you mean so like causing disharmony in the environment but you're sustain, still okay causing suffering and cruelty to the individual animals if it's sustainable yes yeah personally yes and and the words you're using you know suffering and cruelty they're living great lives as a fish out in the ocean and then you catch the fish, and then you kill the fish. How do you catch the fish? fish? With a hook? Oh, well, mass fishing, no. How do you they, catch your fish? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, if I you go use fishing, a hook? yeah, I use a hook. And, and, and what happens, you trick them with food? Yeah, you put bait on the... And it tricks them to bite the hook, yeah. and then the hook grabs them by the face, Exactly right. and it drags yeah. them out the ocean, yeah. and they, you know, they're going from sometimes de the depths of the ocean and pulled up, yeah. so that can rupture their insides, yeah? Well, I don't go deep sea, but yeah, yeah. if... People do, yeah. And then, like, you pull them out onto the. the do they flap around? On the. If if you put it on the floor, yeah. or you can just grab it. They can't breathe out of the ocean, can they? Well, the idea is, if if you're choosing to keep it, then you just put kill it straight away. What do you kill it with? Uh, a knife. So you stab them in the head. Yeah. So you would say that there's no cruelty, suffering. Of course, there's suffering. Yeah. But it's just. Oh, one other thing as well. Not that this is my argument, but. Uh, the nervous systems of fish is much more simple than that. So when we, when you're referring 
to it and it's you know we're, we're comparing it to us or a hook in our lips you know how might how the pain that must you know how that studies on feel. fish you know that they compare they they actually feel pain similar to mammals oh, I, I've read stuff that said otherwise but I'm not discrediting well, what they react and not just stimuli the same way that like so well there's a lot of good studies on fish pain and sentience they uh, if you slowly heat up water, they react really quickly to the, say it's even 30, I think it's 38 degrees, but yeah. they start swimming really quickly. If you take them from cold water to warmer water, yeah. they swim really quickly. Like if you try to stab a fish, they'll avoid that. Um, oh, they act differently when they've been injured, you know. So uh, they might not be exactly the same as us and they don't express. They might not even have the same type of brain, but you don't need all the, type, all the parts of the brain that we have to experience pain and suffering um, like the fish do. Yeah. So, but um, wouldn't you just give them the benefit of the doubt, even if you, like, let's just say me, I couldn't talk, I couldn't really express to you, and you were dragging me around with a hook and stabbing me, you'd give me the benefit of the doubt, yeah, if I was flapping around going, Oi, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, it, obviously depending on the circumstances. If my whole thing was I was going out fishing to catch a fish t to take home and eat, then I, that was, I was going out for the goal and I achieved the goal, right? But yeah. if... If I was coming from your perspective, where I was just completely looking at it from a moral, ethical standpoint, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't need to inflict pain on a fish. I can have a salad sandwich. Oh, you can go have some potatoes and tofu and beans and yeah, vegan exactly. burger. There's more of the fries there. Yeah, you know, I didn't it's, it's, like it, honestly. You didn't like it? Nah, I, I'm sure there's good vegan burgers. There I've had a, good vegan burgers there out there, but burgers. I didn't particularly like but that like, if you didn't particularly like that one that fish doesn't need to be stabbed to death because of it just because your taste preference sort of thing you know what i mean like through the fish's eyes it's like please like don't kill me because you don't like the taste of that burger says the fish that goes and then eats three other fish two minutes later yeah. well fish can be hypocrites it's right an eye for an eye mate yeah but not really because that fish didn't do nothing to you so like no, he with didn't. with he didn't. so like he's a good guy he didn't fish can be, uh, they don't have moral agency like we do in civilization. No, like so, lions don't have moral agency. And they don't have the option. They, they don't have options. Go down and get yeah. the vegan. But you can. Vegan and like, if lions act in a certain way, you don't go. Well, I can go and do this to that person because lions do it, mate. Like, what are you going to tell a lion in savannah to eat lettuce? Like, yep. I can kill and eat whoever I want. Like, yep. nah, we act civilly. Yeah. You know, with morality. Like, if it was a dog here, I, I gave an analogy today. I was talking to fishermen, right? And I said, if I had a dog here with a schmacko on the hook, yep. like a doggy treat, and I like tricked oh, him yeah, to grab it, grabs it and, and then I dragged him. him into the ocean, yeah. drowned them, and drowned then gutted him. him with a fishing knife, yeah. I said, would you think that's moral? And everyone would freak out. They would freak out, but yeah. it's exactly the same thing yeah. through the fish's eyes, what's happening to them. Yeah. Except the, ner the nervous systems are different between the two of them. Keep keeping It's the same thing, but there is a different level of... How know, do you know fish don't feel pain I'm not saying worse. they don't feel pain, but... How do you know it's not worse? Oh, once again, I watched some videos and read some brief things saying that their nervous systems was far, like, inferior. Inferior? Yeah. They've been evolving longer, fish. I wouldn't say it's inferior. It probably serves... Didn't we evolve from fish? what they're doing better. But what I'm saying is how, you know, I, I pinch you now or, like, it, I, I even say something mean about how you look and that could hurt your feelings even you know so it's there's I think, differences in intelligence I think like, there's a difference yeah there's that, difference because we are I different think, I think even a dog's an animal a fish is an animal but I think even they share do you think a dog feels pain more than a fish uh, I would say physical pain perhaps but once again do I you have any I empirical read, evidence to I have, no, there's I, no comparative data today sitting down yeah. with no no researched backgrounds yeah. just my own uh, yeah. perspectives and, yeah. and ideas it's important to be sure about these things if we're going to make like decisions that impact other beings hey like so if you go like i don't know if that fish feels pain so i'm going to fuck them up right now with this fishing knife yeah. but if you go well mate I'm not it's sure, it's so it's I'm going like to... You're not, you're not stabbing him and going, oh, here, take that, you stupid fish. It's Some people just, do. Oh, yeah, I've well, seen. Yeah, and in fishing boats, where you probably get most of your fish from, I don't think you fish for every single fish that you... No, oh, yeah. no, no, so no, fish. I, go, I eat sushi from sushi Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah a lot of people, that's what I, They think, oh, it's just this guy out there on his boat, reeling him in nice and gently. No. It's uh, mostly trawling nets, dragging yeah. massive and amounts. They leave all of the stuff in the ocean as and well. And they dump them, they dump them back. This? Some salmon. What's this, mate? Come over here, are you, you're being scared. Are you scared? Okay. Are you scared? Okay, what are you scared of, mate? Nothing. Then come and face me. 
Come and face me, fish boy. Yeah. Come over here. I'll, I'll let fish Come boy on. take the floor, mate. I'll leave you to it. No worries, brother. Thanks for So what's this? Yeah, what did you put here? I just don't understand why you don't feel comfortable eating fish. Well, uh, because they suffer and feel pain. So why would I want to cause it to them? Not all fish would suffer and Did you just buy that? No, I've had it. You've had it? Yeah, you can take it. So, so, why, so, so why did you dump it over here and run off? Uh, I'm not too sure. Are you a bit of a coward? No, definitely not. You don't speak. Why don't you tell me your opinion instead of running off? Um, you look busy at the time, just talking. No, no, no. So. Like, like, hey, so I think uh, fish feel pain, which they do. They're sentient, they're conscious beings. And they deserve not to be tortured and killed so we can have a five minute meal. So that's my position and you, you've got this, yep. which is a cut up animal. And it's probably a factory farm salmon. Maybe. Most salmon here in Australia is factory farmed on big uh, fish farms. Not necessarily. Well, uh, let's have a look. Where's it from? Could be fat. Well, let's just say it's not. Okay. This fish, this animal went through immense suffering so you could, you know, dump this on the table. So why do you think that's justified? Everyone has a choice in on either they can choose to eat it or not. They could. Um, they could. I don't, I don't see why it needs to be preached that you shouldn't be eating any sort of fish. Well, uh, you, sh that, you could say that about any type of animal then. Well, I don't eat any type of animal because uh, for the same reason. Really? Well, uh, I wouldn't want to see you get hung, even though I don't particularly, like I don't particularly like you. But you know, might not particularly like a fish, right? Right. But uh, I still wouldn't want someone to hurt you, and I would stop them right now if they tried to, right? Especially if it was for something like a sandwich. You know what I mean? So like this sandwich, you can literally get any other filling. Vegan fillings that don't contain animals. True. This lasts five minutes in your mouth, and then you flush it down the toilet. Yeah? yeah? True. And that was our animal's entire existence. That's the only existence they get. Very true, but that could be on any type of animal. Yeah. Which is why we don't, I don't consume any of them. Yeah. Because when you buy this, let's say you bought this from the shop, you paid for everything that happened to that animal. That could be true or could not be true. Well, you subsidise the industry when you pay for the product, you sub supply and demand. True. But that's the same as anything, even vegetables, fruit. Yeah, well, the fruit and vegetables don't suffer. No. They're not conscious beings. A banana. Very true. I don't care about a, a banana. But like... Very true. I care about a pig, a chicken, a dog, a human, a fish. Very true. So, that's all. But you can take your, uh, your fish. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, take care. Where's your content at anyway? Uh, Joey Carbstrong. I appreciate the chat, man. It was very no worries, yeah. polite and respectful of you, mate. Thank you. Thanks for sitting down and giving us your Thanks opinion. Did you want to take a... Did, you wanna, did I give you a couple of these? So this is just uh, some fish facts. Right. And this is a how-to vegan guide no for your brother. Thank you. Take care, Please mate. Appreciate. No worries, mate. Take care. I said we can eat fish, so there's nothing wrong with eating fish. No, God did not say anything like that.